Let's take a look at how to change some colors on an inflatable office integrated website here. So as always, we're gonna start off by going up to websites and we'll click admin login. This takes us over to the dashboard for WordPress where we actually manage the website itself. So we're gonna go over to pages and we'll click on all pages here. Now I can search this list. I'm just gonna go down to the home page and we're gonna click on edit with Elementor and this will load up the web builder. Now. Editing inflatable office websites is really simple as far as, you know, changing photos or text or maybe just dragging and dropping some things onto the page. But a lot of web design can get pretty complex. That's why it's a whole job in itself. But editing the colors is a great, quick way to personalize your site and just make it a little more your own. So on this site, we see that we've got a few different colors going. We've got some orange, blue. I've got this dark gray back here, yellow, everything like that. And what these pieces are operating off of are called global colors. So that way, when I wanna change everything that's orange, I don't actually have to change each single item. I just need to change the color that that item is referencing. And that's really easy to do. So in the very top left-hand corner on my Elementor bar, I've got this little hamburger menu button, and I can go ahead and click on that, and we'll see where it says site settings. Now from here, we're gonna see the option for global colors. <clears throat> and I can go ahead and click on this. So let's say maybe I'm going for a red, white, and blue color. So first off, I'm gonna start off changing the blue, which is listed as the secondary color. I can click on that, and we're just gonna drag this slider around until it's something I like. So I wanna go with a little bit of a lighter blue. There we go. Now I wanna change everything in orange, and we'll find a nice red, so I'm gonna drag the slider down, and there we go, I like the looks of that right there. So last off, we just have the shopping cart button, which is yellow, and I wanna make this blue to blend in, but I want it to be a little brighter so people can really notice it there, so we'll kinda of give it a real light blue. There we go. So you can see that updated those colors everywhere on the page. So if at any point in time in this process, you might have messed something up or you just don't like the way it looks, all you have to do is click the X button here and you can choose to discard the changes or I can hit save. Uh, either way, if I like what I've done, I can go ahead and click this update button and now those colors will have been updated across my website there. So if you have any questions, just make sure and reach out.